This is Speak My Word Ministries, Travis Zimmerman. The Daily Pulse today is about watchfulness. I want to take you right to the Gospel of Luke. And Jesus has a parable here that is just amazing. It goes like this. This is out of Luke chapter 12, verses 35 to 40. This is Jesus speaking, our Savior. Be dressed, ready for service, and keep your lamps burning, like men waiting for their master to return from a wedding banquet so that when he comes and knocks, they can immediately open the door for him. It will be good for those servants whose master finds them watching when he comes. I tell you the truth, he will dress himself to serve, will have them recline at the table, and will come and wait on them. It will be good for those servants whose master finds them ready, even if he comes in the second or third watch of the night. In other words, late at night when most, you know, many travelers don't come. But understand this, if the owner of the house had known at what hour the thief was coming, he would not have let his house be broken into. You also must be ready, because the Son of Man will come at an hour when you do not expect him. That's Luke chapter 12, verses 35 to 40. You know, that, that component of watchfulness. I was at the Gold's Gym a couple of weeks ago, and we, we just it got a facelift in the men's room, I presume the women's room as well. But in the men's room, you know, they took away all the paper towel dispensers, you know, so you, it's, it's harder to wash your hands off. And they replaced it with an electric hand dryer. And the way that works is that you try to fake it out, you know, it's just you put your hands under it. There's an electric eye and it, it comes on. And as soon as you remove your hands, it turns off. You know, just right there, God put in my heart, that's the watchfulness like that Jesus is talking about in this passage, you know, where you know this this electric dryer is obviously an inanimate object and but it certainly provides some uh, some insight to animate objects like us, you know, just putting your hands underneath there and, and it's ready to dry your hands. So we should be waiting on the Lord. You know, we don't know, as Jesus says, when the Son of Man is coming back. You know, he, he went into the clouds. And the angel said, you know, said he would come back in the exact same way. So we're going to be watchful and waiting, but not just waiting, you know, doing the work that God requires, and that's loving others. In Jesus' name, Lord, amen.